What's up everybody, Chaz here, and if this is your first time visiting my channel, I show you how to edit photos using Photoshop and Lightroom. So today, I'm going to show you how to combine two photos to get that perfect photo. I know sometimes, you know, you get the perfect scene, but there's all kinds of background noise in the background. So what I'm going to do is show you how to combine those two photos to get that nice, clean background that you originally pictured. Stay tuned. So let's get started. So I'm going to take you through um, a quick little fix I did on this photo. The model particularly like this one, but there was this car back there that really distracted from the photo and I didn't really know what was back here to match that background to be able to clone stamp because with clone stamp it's easy to use this background, especially if they're a little blurry. It's easy to use backgrounds like these that are pretty solid so it's easily to it's easy to blend those in so you won't have very much of an issue but since there's something like this there's no way I can see what's behind that car so I'm gonna add a new layer and what I did is took the scene from this side of the photo now this particular half was a little bit too light for the photo so I decided to just use a certain part so I take my rectangle tool and put it over the area I want to copy. And Command C if you have a Mac to copy that selection that you have in there. And then you go to this photo and you Command B or just paste it on there. And now you have just this little scene. And what I would normally do is go ahead and place this over there. And you want to really try to get it lined up with the rest of the the rest of the photo that you're trying to copy. So this one quite didn't quite line up, so I'm going to try it again. Make sure I get a little bit more of the street. Try it again. There we go. And it's not going to be, especially for something like this, it won't be perfect. That's when you would go and use your um, clone stamp to kind of go in there and um, colors. Or put in the rest of the scene so it's pretty seamless and you won't have those um, edges. So for time's sake, we're going to leave that as is, but you can take the clone stamp and clean up these little marks right here. Um, kind of draw back the area right here, just basically making it look like it belongs there. All right, let's try the next photo. So the same client had these two set of pictures, but he chose this one. And again... There's this huge person, and um, you could use a clone stamp here, but it's a lot to kind of copy and draw in. So I'm going to use the same technique here, but this time take a little bit more of the photo, copy it, and then I'm going to paste it on. So then you typically want to get, like if there's any lines, you want to get them you want to get them lined up. And so this one was pretty pretty simple to line up because the photo rules were um, really close together. When you're doing this, you want to make sure that the photos are taken at the same height and you want to snap a couple of pictures instead of just doing one, two, three. You want to snap a series of photos so that way you'll have a lot of scenes to work with. And even if there was someone on this side, you could do the same with this photo by pulling half of it onto this one and so that's how you would combine two photos there's all sorts of ways that you can use these to combine them these are two particular ways I've used them and it turns out it works pretty well you can't really tell it's another part but these lines here you would have to match the clone stamp again so you know see fit and 
there you go. That's how you combine two photos to make one and get that original image that you pictured. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you would like to learn a little bit more about removing anything on a previous video I did, I will leave the description down in the link so that way you can get acquainted with the clone stamping tool method and the other ways that you can remove unwanted items out of your photo. Alright, that's it guys. Thank you for watching.